Good morning, my Washington Street family. This is Mr. Terrence coming at you again. Happy, happy Sunday. Of course, I'm here for the worship moments with Terrence. Uh, before we get started to my children, um, we have some upcoming things coming up at the church. So you and your parents be on the lookout because we are going to need your participation going into this new year. We're so excited. Um, so today what we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about John the Baptist, right? John the Baptist. And the scripture that we're coming out of is Mark 1 verses 4 through 11. And it reads like this. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now, John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts, also known as bugs, and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. He's talking about Jesus right here. And I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. And I know that you know, we're always talking about Jesus and we're always talking about the great things that Jesus does. But today I just want to talk about John the Baptist and I just want to hone in on him. So the first uh, verse four says John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. That's going to be the topic for the worship moments today. Because when you think about the wilderness, you think about dirty, you think about a swamp, you think about somewhere where you would never think to have church. I'm pretty sure if I wanted to go and start a church and I said it's going to be in the wilderness, nobody would probably come. But the reason why I want to talk about it so much is because, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. You can be at home, you can be at school, you can be watching online. There is still blessings to take place and there is still anointing and healing and tell the telling of Christ to take place no matter where you go. For John the baptizer, it was in the wilderness and Jesus actually came to him. Now, like I said before, when we think about worship, when we think about church, we think of, you know, this magnificent sanctuary or we can think about, you know, outside of the church or we think we can think about a setting as in this room, but we don't think about the wilderness. And that's what I love about this text is that, you know, John the baptizer did his teachings and he did his worships out of the wilderness. And like I said before, guys, it doesn't matter where you are. You can be anywhere. You can be in your car. You can be watching online. There is always a time in order to give God the glory. And there's always a time to bless somebody and tell somebody else about the good things that Christ is doing in our lives. Now, of course, you know that Mr. Terrence always has the worksheets. So today for my three year olds, we're going to do or for my little babies, um, I want you guys to fill in the letters. So in specific letters, there's these dots and I just want you to write it in and then I want you guys to color it. Right. And so for my older babies. So we're going to do this. It says the baptism of Jesus and it says circle. 12 differences in the second picture. So this is the first picture. And on the second picture, I just want you to find some differences that weren't in the first picture. As always, you can send these back to me or Miss Jane so that we can show what you guys are doing at Washington Street. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I'll see y'all later.